Hey Masters, a few months ago, I saw an interesting discussion in LinkedIn about, well, browser engines versus real desktop browsers. Um, I saw comparisons between WebKit and Safari, right? I also saw some discussion about Chrome, Chromium, and the different browsers that we have um, against the, well, the real browsers, uh, I'm sorry, the browser engines. So I saw this amazing conference talk that I found in the Selenium Conference channel. Actually, I'm gonna show you that Selenium Conference channel. Here you can find a lot of videos, very interesting videos about different stuff. But in this particular video, we're gonna review this conference talk. Why browser engines, real desktop browsers, and mobile browsers are not the same. It was provided by David Burns. I think he's uh, an amazing professional and has a lot of experience in this, right? So I'm gonna give you some insights, some concepts that I got from this conference talk, but I also want to encourage you to come here and check it out. It's amazing. So yeah, it's time to learn something new and well, I think it's very interesting. Let's let's go ahead and take a look. I think uh, it's important to note that he says that browsers are complex. They are like operating systems. There is a lot of things behind it. And basically they the, the different browsers follow some specifications, all right? And here we have the like the main one. Um where the, the, the main specification where everything starts, right? So what is this? Um, I'm gonna let the link in the description of this video if you wanna take a look, but it is basically a document that specify an internet best current practices for the internet community. We can request discussions and suggestions for improvements using this particular document, all right? And there are some words in the document. Let me show you this. Uh, well, actually, this is the document. He he presented it in the conference. And as you can see in the screen, we, here we have like some definitions of must, must not, should, and should not. So David explains that when a browser vendor is gonna take and work with a specification, they read through it and follow the must and must nots, all right? However, should or should not, are up to interpretation. And that's when we can see bugs between browsers, all right? This is very interesting. And at the end of the this particular block of the presentation, he says, browsers try to do the right thing, but they are not always. So it's pretty interesting of how we, we can understand better that we have a lot of specifications. And here is the, like, the main document where we specify must, must nots should and shouldn't, and the reason of why, there are some bugs and differences between them. Then we have this next part of the conference about real user testing. At the beginning of this block, he says that we have different tools in the market, right? We have Selenium, for instance, Cypress, Playwright, and then he asked a very interesting question, and it is, do we send messages to emulate things, or are we faking it? Just like a regular question, right? <laughs> and then he explained to us the importance of a document in a browser. So we can refer to a document as a page and how it is loaded. We can have multiple documents inside of it, uh, for instance, instance iframes, and we want to be able to e interact with it, right? At the end, that's the reason of why we're dealing with browsers in automation. And well, he also says that when JavaScript runs, there is a JS loop that runs in the background and we can modify it if we want to. Um, so he says as well that there are some tools that says, oh, I can fire events using and modifying the JS loop, right? So um, those tools are not doing what a real user would do. He says that it is not good and there is no trust in it because it is like firing events, it is not interacting with the browser as a real user would do. It is using the JS loop to handle the different events like click, typing, and so on. So it is not doing like a real testing. All right, masters, then we have a small block about headless versus headful testing. I want you to come here uh, to the conference video and hear it by yourself because I'll, I'm missing a lot of details that he explained and they are amazing, but I got from, something from, from it. And it was that headless browsers for the last five years have been not the browser you think it is. And it is basically, if I show you this image, that we were using an, a separate alternative browser implementation for Chrome headless. 
you're gonna if you're if you come here and watch the, his explanation well it's amazing and then we have another explanation of how the headless mode work with firefox and the difference between them so this is so good uh, something new for me to be honest so i'm I, I learned a lot from this video then we have the hot topic here which is browser engines are not the same than real browsers okay um we can refer to browser engines such as chromium webkit right and we can refer to real browsers to google chrome opera edge and so on right so i'm gonna just i'm gonna uh, forward a little bit this video to show you well some browsers that actually work with chromium right here we have chrome edge opera brave and so on and for instance he says that basically for instance, Chromium is not the same than Chrome, Brave, or Opera, right? And he says something very interesting. Let me just read it. The rendering is like the same, mostly, right? But there, the, the way it interacts with the browser is totally different, all right? So for instance, he's, he says a very interesting example, and it is the way they handle cookies. So for instance, Brave, it is not interested in cookies, but Chrome wants every single movement in, in the web <laughs> in the web uh, with a cookie right to know what is going on with your uh, activity so yeah this is just a, a small example of how chromium uh, a real browser like chrome or opera or brave can be different but there are more of them right so please go ahead and check the the conference video all right masters and then he talks about safari versus webkit i want you to go ahead and check his video but i'm gonna give you some insights that i got and it's that they are not the same so he explained how on a scenario actually if i forward a little bit this video right this is the new and he explained how apple safari broke the index db a few years ago and also the importance of using safari and not webkit why because that issue was it was not reproduced using webkit it was only reproduced using the real safari browser all right so this is just an example of the differences between the the browser engines and the real desktop uh, browsers right all right masters and then we have this discussion about real mobile browsers versus simulated browsers and um, we already know that getting all the mobile devices is expensive. So it's kind of tricky to test this, right? And also the mobile development is hard and well, uh, we already know that. But what well, he says uh, a very, uh, very interesting fact, and it is that resizing a desktop browser is not a mobile browser, okay? And here we have a couple of interesting points to discuss. The first one is, Mobile devices needs to take care of bodily life, bodily life affecting performance, all right? This is very interesting and just uh, a difference between a desktop resized uh, against a real browser in, in, in the mobile uh, operating system, right? And then uh, we can, well, actually they, they create situations that cannot be reproduced using resized browsers or simulated browsers. Okay, Brad Masters, I think that my takeaway about this is that it's important to understand what is going on behind a test framework. In this case, we're talking about web, right? Uh, web browsers, uh, real desktop browsers, real mobile browsers, and browser engines. To understand the differences between them, the risks that we're going to take if we use one or another tool. And yeah, this is important to make sure that we're testing it in the right way. And if we are using, for instance, a uh, um, browser engine, we understand the risk and we can mitigate it if if it is possible, right? So, um, also I want to encourage you to well, see more talks from experts. It's important to keep learning and stay updated. So, masters, if you want or if you liked these kind of videos where we explore like different conference topics and. I can try to give you some insights about it as well. Let me know if you like the format and see you in the next video. Thank you very much, Masters. Bye-bye.